Are you guys aware that there are multiple passageways into the Great Sphinx? There is even a huge drill bit stuck in the back of the Sphinx head from an attempt in the 1840s to reach one of these cavities. They've even tried blowing up certain parts of the head and the body, causing massive damage during the 1800s. Crude measures were undertaken as the race to reach hidden chambers within the structure reached the point of madness. Did you know there was an ancient grotto at the side of the Sphinx? And during restoration of the ancient wonder, this was covered up by a thick, heavy iron trap door and covered by limestone blocks as if it had never even existed. What's that all about? Our curiosity as to what lies beneath the Egyptian monument has not dwindled throughout the ages despite clear attempts to either steal or cover up the ancient history of the Giza Plateau in particular. One aspect of the Great Sphinx at Giza that has somehow been overlooked by authors is the presence of four odd masonry boxes that are situated against the body of the Sphinx at floor level. Two on the north side and two on the south. Just wait till you hear this. August Marietta uncovered the boxes while clearing the sand around the Sphinx in the 1850s. At that time, there were five boxes but one on the north side has since disappeared. The arrangement of the boxes is asymmetrical and seems to make little sense. What was their purpose? Incredibly, after further excavation of the surrounding area, statues were uncovered. Badly worn through time, the faces of the statues were worn away, but it was obvious they were found on top of the boxes around the Sphinx. They even had limestone crowns on them. The statues would have stood an incredible 26 feet tall each, two at either side of the Sphinx and one at the breast. It was just another stunning example of lost history and it's incredible to think that these statues were simply destroyed during efforts to find secret chambers within the ancient structure. In 1923, Department of Antiquities engineer Emily Baraz began an 11 year excavation of the Sphinx area. In December 1925, a photograph was made by the team showing the area of the large masonry box on the south side of the Sphinx. Loose stones can be seen, stones cut for repairs, but in the side of the Sphinx body, a large gaping entrance, or perhaps a grotto, is visible. It was covered up in the restoration. Further conservation included lining the largest fissure on the Sphinx back with limestone blocks and covering the resulting shaft with an iron trap door. He also paved with cement a deep hole on the tops of the Sphinx head. The hole measures approximately 5 feet square and nearly 6 feet deep. An iron trap door was also fitted to the mouth of the hole. It has been theorized that the hole began as a means for affixing a headdress to the Sphinx in the manner of the New Kingdom and was later deepened in search of hidden chambers. So when you look at the Sphinx today, you think you're looking at an ancient Egyptian monument, and you are. But during the past 300 years or so, it was destroyed by humans, drilled by humans, and eventually rebuilt and the passages covered up as well as significant pieces of the Sphinx destroyed before we could understand what they were. Will we ever really understand this ancient marvel? Perhaps the answers are staring us right in the face and we cannot see what they are because we think far too deeply instead of clearly. Maybe there is a more simple way into the Great Sphinx. We recently came across information that there is in fact a blocking stone that has been hidden in plain sight for millennia behind the ear of the Sphinx. Once released, it opens up to possibly release information that holds secrets to the universe, the earth, and the ancient civilization that built this place. What do you guys think anyway? Comments below and thank you for watching.